Oh, hello again. Welcome back to my channel and to Cyberpunk 2077. I have once again uh, changed my outfit and I love her. She's my everything. I'm so into this. However, I do have news. Uh, in an attempt to reach the next gig before starting the video, I, um... I may have gotten a little bit stuck. Um, so, I, uh, just gonna, yeah, we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna leave Hella here for a moment. Um, hey, can I take that? I would like to take, oh. ow. Ow, 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 ow. I'm taking your car. Thank you. Rude. This is mine now. <laughs> Oh, I did not make it far before I, um, I think I, like, hit, I turned, I, I turned weird, and then I hit, like, a barrier or something, and it flipped me up against the light pole, which then would not release me. So I guess I'm just gonna leave her there, just to, you know, think about things for a while, and, uh, we'll come back to that car later, I guess, when I summon her from nowhere. Oh, genuinely thought that was a wall for a second? Oh, come on. What happened here? What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, oh, and now the road is just here. Oh, this is things not loading in again. Man, this is one of the biggest issues I have. It's just things do not want to load in when I want them to, when I need them to. Yo, V, there's this badge. He needs help with his investigation. Okay. Guys known for operating in the gray zone. No scruples about working with mercs. Attach more deeds for you. This is a good thing? I can't tell. Target is some CCTV footage and a Maelstrom warehouse. Client is Aaron McCarlson, NCPD sergeant. Used to work for me as a consultant on the show Cops and Chops, eight seasons, and is asking for a favor. Aaron's been digging into Maelstrom for a while now, says he found the warehouse where they torture people. But you know how it is for badges. Law slows them down with mountains of paperwork, so if they want to get something done, they have to get creative. Aaron knows that, which is why instead of waiting for fat-ass judges to give him permission, he wants to get help from a contractor. Job simple. Get into warehouse, coordinates attached, steal the security cam footage, and bring it back to Aaron. Should be enough to push his case through. And if he happened to shoot a few Maelstromers along the way, well, shit happens, right? Well, it couldn't, won't be worse off without them, that's for sure. Alrighty then. I thought for sure I'd find a camera already. Ooh, I can get in through this gate. Oh, no sound? No sound to kick open the, okay. That's fine, I guess. Oh, hello. No, oh, yeah, I see you, I'm, I'm going. Person there too. I wonder if I can get onto the roof first. Ah, uh, and I keep forgetting to go get my double jump. Is it just you up there? You don't seem concerned that I'm standing up here. Guess I'll take what I can get. Okay. Um, ooh, this is not great. So, I can get the first and the third versions, I think. Let's try for that. All right. Now. I think I could jump to that, which would get me over there. Nice. What's this? Ah. Armor. I 
do not meet the level requirement for it. That's fine. Why now? Why now when you move? Why is now when you move? Stop moving. Archive conversation. The fuck did you do, you quack? Well, strong start. What? The pain editor you chip doesn't fucking work. It hurts so bad it makes me want to rip my optics out. When I find you, I'll cut your throat with a fucking scalpel. Try booting up the implant first. Use the run editor command. Okay, yeah, that works, sorry. You're welcome. Oh, and your next procedure comes with a negative 100% discount. Ha <laughs> ha! I like that. Ooh. Better boots. Did you have two sniper rifles? I feel like that's not right. Let's get this. Cool, that was a good one. I liked that one. There's someone... There you are. I wish I could make these explode from a distance. Maybe I can and I just don't have the right quick hack for it, but... I'm really not sure. Truck is not electrically powered. All right, well, this doesn't seem too bad. I think I can just walk off and get the two of you. Seems that way. Just gonna put you in here. Thank you for your cooperation. Bye. Don't you move. I swear to God, I will be so mad at you. Thank you. That's a little too far away for me. Let's... I have already changed my outfit because I didn't save the other one as an outfit. So I don't know what I look like now that I have equipped a couple of new things. Hello. Thank you for not turning around as I knocked out your friends. a way to get in from the top first. No. I'm not sure how I just fell off. Ah. Can open you. That wasn't helpful. Totally thought there would be something for me to land on. Shoulda looked. Pain editors and mortality rates. Is this the one that's like... Yep, already read that. Ooh, you move far.
got it all. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to. Oh, man. Didn't put myself in a great place here. But... Let's try this. Nice. Sneak up behind you now, because you don't seem to want to move. Is there anywhere to put you? Not really. The street cred is getting high. What is this? Oh, it's an like machine gun. You think I know what they look like by now? I do like the look of this one, though. Company is closed from the board. Unfortunately, despite numerous initiatives aimed at reducing our operating guests, including extra commitment from our workers, we have ended this quarter with a loss. In light of these results, bearing in mind the multiple threats of violence from our competitors, the board of directors has decided to liquidate the company's assets. We kindly request that all employees empty out their desks and drawers before 8 p.m., after which we will hand over the building's keys to its owner. The company's remaining capital will be paid out in dividends to the company's directors. All other employees will receive coupons for selected products in all food stores, equivalent to the value of each employee's weekly salary. Respect for the board. You're closing down and you're giving all your employees a week's worth of food stamps? Essentially, not even food stamps, coupons, which I assume are just like sales. <gasps> you deserve to close. Read carefully. A certain corporal entered the net one night when suddenly everything glitched and he encountered a red demon who said, tomorrow at midnight you will be dead. The corporal did not place any faith in the threat and slept soundly that night, is this spam, after leaving the net. The next day he went to work and returned home and nothing bad happened. But the next morning his daughter went to wake him up. His optical implants were burned out. His entire body was scorched and cut in half. If you break this email chain, the same thing will happen to you tomorrow at midnight. If you send this to only three people, the demon will hurt someone you love. If you send this to 15, the demon will follow you on the net after uh, four or five days, but do nothing to you. If you send this to all of your contacts, your biggest dream will come true. It's true, it happened to my uncle. I'm very sorry to send this on to you, but someone sent it to me first. It sounds silly, but forwarding this email will save your life. What if you only have like two people in your contacts like what if you don't talk to anyone and don't know anybody like technically you fulfilled the last bit of this requirement sending it to all your contacts but it's not enough people like i need what are what are the i need more recording surveillance oh is this the footage that i'm looking for i didn't think it was just going to show up for me Oh, <gasps> that didn't take long. Wait, is that him? I can't tell if the guy that she sent the picture of in the message was like the officer or someone else. I think it was him. That's my assumption. So, all right. Getting this. Yes, it is him! <gasps> I'm definitely telling him. I am telling him that I know what he did. 100%. I'm not gonna let him just do that. And I don't know what he was doing there, so I need to find out. Let's find out. She's alive! I'm glad you've recovered, my love. I don't know when my car became my love, but apparently I'm just gonna go with that. Aw, the moon. Pretty. Why is everyone so much faster than me? Why are we going 100 miles an hour down through the city? not a safe place. Night City is not a safe place. Let's quick save. Yeah. 
Aaron, it's V. I've got the scrolls. Oh, V? <laughs> Thought you were another one of those Serenity Bible whack jobs. Not quite. Come in. So, hit any snags along the way? Sort of. Nope. Might as well have been a ghost. You do a quiet job, huh? Don't show off. I admire that. All right, now hand over those scrolls already. Choppity chop chop, huh? These scrolls are for some kind of investigation, right? Mm-hmm. Real big stink, mind you. But thanks to your help, I can give it a push. Mm. Kind of sad to let them go. Contents are truly fascinating. You weren't supposed to watch them. That was the deal. I don't Only think I was told that. The book, huh? The scrolls didn't paint such a law-abiding picture of you. Save the moralizing bullshit. Guessing you want something, huh? So just spill already. What I want's for you to be behind bars, where you belong. <laughs> Too bad. Not gonna happen. Attack you in the fucking oh. mind! Alright, let's just knock you out. How about that? And I'm taking your gun. You wearing a bra? All right, cool. Wasn't expecting that. Archived conversation conversation between D and Aaron. Aaron, this isn't funny anymore. I don't care that you fucked your way through half of NC. Boys will be boys, but you owe me a lot of eddies that I need as of yesterday. I can't just let you off the hook. Let's settle this like grown-ups before things get unpleasant, okay? Sure thing, sorry. How about we meet up? I'll give back every last any. See ya. Okay. <gasps> Is that... Did you kill- is that the woman you killed? I'm taking all of your money. And anything else that you have. All of it. Literally all of it. Gas mask and money. Caught in the maelstrom. I'm stood in the middle of Toad and Tons, my knuckles white, tightly gripped on a tightly gripped an Achilles M one seventy nine E rifle. It was shoved into my hands just seconds before the attack. My face, arms, and sin leather jacket soaked in the blood and brain matter of the psycho I had just shot. My contact, a thirty year old maelstromer with a green mohawk, patted me on the shoulder. Man, Phil, you ain't half shit, he tells me appreciatively. Took you for a pussy bitch, but gotta admit, you got some steel-clad balls after all. And don't worry about that sad scrap heap. If there ain't at least 20 bodies, you can't call it a maelstrom party. What had already been an unsettling experience took a turn to a whole other level. The other maelstromers continued to mock me, but I could detect a tone of approval through all the vocal distortion. My mohawked contact even proposed that they install in me one of their distinct rudimentary implants. Fortunately, they didn't have in mind their iconic optic sweep, so I accepted. My popularity continued to grow. No way you'd get the Maelstrom mug so easy, he laughs. That tech's only for initiates. We pluck out their eyes and peel back the skin. No anesthetics. You survive, you're in. Jesus. With the atmosphere now more relaxed, I asked if the rumors had been true. Do they accept contract killings? My mohawk source nodded with enthusiasm. There are so many typos in this game. Oh, fuck yeah, we make good scratch, and it's a great morale booster. You know, machines ain't bothered with a mess of feelings, and that's what we aim for. Doing hit jobs like that helps us gouge out all the gooey emotions we still got left. Recently, this one guy got all whiny and snot-nosed just because we roasted some kid. I told him, I said, dude, you better relive some suppressor BD and fast, or boss man's gonna blow your head off. Gong should've fucking listened. As I listened to his explanations and anecdotes, I realized that amusement clearly must not be one of their blacklisted emotions. And then I couldn't help but wonder. Are machines capable of laughter? Well, they're still people. This book is trying to be deeper than it is, I feel. Alright, bye. I'm keeping your stuff. Well, this 
situation took a rough turn, but thanks for a job well done, V. And don't worry about Aaron, let him sleep it off. When he wakes up, he'll remember we have the recording, and then, well, then we've got our own inside source at the NCPD. Gig shut and sealed. Not quite what I was going for, but I'll take it. Level up, hell yeah. And last one for body. I should be able to match what my, uh, what my shotgun wants now. Oh, cool. Mitigation chance increase, which reduces damage taken. I like that. Let's do that. Well. All right. New contracts, hot and ready. Almost in the major leagues now, V. Feel free to take a day off. You earned it. Have I? Have I earned a day off? I don't feel like you're actually going to give me a day off. Since you sent me new stuff already. One, two, two more. All right. Is there... I want... There's no ripper dock near you. I wanted to get that double jump, but there isn't one near you. But there is one closer to this gig. Okay, so I'll do this gig. Stop at the ripper dock here on my way to this other gig. And then we'll be good. All right, cool. Got a plan. I love, I love Night City. I really do. I love being in a city in general, as opposed to like living in the country in real life. I like being in the city or a city. If I could be in a bigger city, I probably would. I really love a big city. But man, there is so much wrong with Night City. Ah, everything's fine. Oh, oh God. See, I'm clearly made for the city. <laughs> Everything goes so well here for me, all the time. Okay. shard from that van. Other words, you're clepping from the cleppers. Need more info? Scan the attachment. Okay. So I'm stealing the data bank with the transport route data from Malorian Limited. V, big news going around town. A Malorian van was stolen on Sir Francis Drake Avenue. Maelstrom claimed responsibility. Just so happens that one of my informants saw the whole thing, and he was smart enough to tell them using a drone. Hard part's over. We already know where they've stashed the van. I'd say we got lucky, but the truth is, my people know how to get shit done. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll quit flattering myself. I'll go to the chop shop and find a data bank in the van that has Malorian's transport route data. The gangers have no idea it's worth more than all the cargo they're sitting on. All right. Is that a camera I see? Sure is. like the van. Two of you here. Iron Stormer. Oh. 
What weapon is that? A grenade launcher? What is that symbol? I don't like that. Another camera. Might be easier to go up this way, wherever this is. Let's get to you. Is there a back way? Maybe through there. All right. Not so bad. Ah, over there. I see. Okay, so. Swear that was something. Man, they do not like it when you get close. Let's make you friendly. Excellent. No one mind me. Ooh, there's a person there. Go up. No. Hmm. You're going in. Can I get you? I would like to get you. Just to be safe. It's always helpful to have one less just in case. Bye. Man, all the maelstrom gangsters just seems so... Ugh. I hate the way their bodies look. It freaks me out. Closer than I liked it. Archive conversation. Got the target in the truck we dragged. There's some kind of data carrier. Who knows what it is? Can't connect to the POS. Could you send someone over to take a look? Now's not a good time. All my people are occupied. Maybe someone in the totem tins has a sec. I'll ask around. Just got word. No can do. Just take it for now. Deal with it later. Is there anywhere I can put you? Right there. Perfect. No, I want to turn you off. You're not going to let me turn you off. All right. Damn it. You don't see me. You don't know. Ah, damn. Oh! 
cheating me? How dare you. I do not think so. Rude. There's still enemies, but wow, I would not say that was successful. We could be friends. Did you say we could be friends? That doesn't seem right. Why are you just holding a champagne bucket? Can't hide! You know that! I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, misread. Misunderstood. That's fine. At least I got something. The song just keeps saying everything burns, and I'm concerned for this man. the musical? Absolutely phenomenal, said Ziggy Q. True to art and history, said Karina Lee. There were many explosions, said Jillian Jordan and 54 News. Act 1. The fourth corporate war is underway. Saburo Arasaka is displeased with the progress of Asam K, who is commanding Arasaka Arasaka's forces. He instructs K to defeat the enemy in order to prove himself as a worthy successor. Successor, Jesus. All... Uh, Kay desires, above all, to gain the acceptance and pride of his cruel father, so he devises a scheme to place all blame of the war's outbreak squarely on Militech. Their conversation is overheard by Sarah, a Militech agent, and also the beloved adopted daughter of General Donald Lundy. Sarah concludes that the only way to quickly end the bloody conflict is to assassinate Kay. General Lundy comforts his daughter and gives her courage. Soon, Andrew, a young idealist and idol idolater of Saburo, arrives in Night City. His dream is to find the last living seagull in the world, so he attempts to stow away on board, aboard an, an Arasaka ship. Then he is discovered, apprehended, and mocked by Arasaka security personnel. Meanwhile, Sarah is preparing her ambush against Kay, who is due to inspect the ship the very same day. When her target appears, Sarah is poised to fire her gun, when suddenly, her eyes lock with Andrew's. Time stops. Sparks fly. Young love is born. After a moment, Sarah shakes free of her daze and fires at Kay. She misses. Andrew then intervenes, shielding Kay with his own body. 
the Militech agents must flee the scene. Kay had noticed the twinkle in the eyes of the young lovers when their eyes met. Under the guise of gratitude for saving his life, he decides to use Andrew as bait in a trap for Sarah. He orders his scientists to heal the young man's gunshot wound and secretly install a synthetic heart containing a nuclear bomb. He formally accepts the young, grateful man into the Arasaka Armed Forces and, knowing Andrew's reason for stowing away, he convinces him that Militech is responsible for the destruction of the marine ecosystem and seagull population. Act 2. Sarah returns to General Lundy after failing her mission. With a father's love, he is able to forgive her, comfort her, and offer her a chance at redemption. He assigns Sarah to lead the charge on Arasaka Tower and end this nightmarish war for good. Still smitten from their brief encounter, Sarah and Andrew simultaneously come up with the same plan to search for the other in cyberspace. By chance, they find each other at a virtual coral reef. At first, they are overwhelmed with the unbridled passion of new love, but quickly realize they can never be together. Andrew erroneously accuses Militech of destroying the original coral reef, causing Sarah to realize that her beloved has become a member of Arasaka's security forces. Both corporations are preparing for the final confrontation. Andrew and Sarah mourn their unrequited love. General Lundy worries over the risk his soldiers face. Saburo reminds his son that he has only one more chance to earn his father's pride and respect. Kay has come to the conclusion that his victory cannot be assured, so he decides instead to blow up Arasaka Tower and pin the blame on Militech in the hopes of earning his father's love in death. Sarah's unit enters Arasaka Tower. The two lovers meet as battle rages on around them, but neither can bring themselves to harm the other. Kay attempts to detonate the bomb in Andrew's heart, but the detonator fails. Struck with a nefarious idea, Kay instead shoots Sarah, killing her on the spot. Andrew's heart breaks with grief, causing the bomb inside to detonate. In the moment before the explosion, Andrew gazes up into the sky and witnesses a seagull soaring overhead. The nuclear bomb explodes, destroying the tower, the young man, the seagull, and his dreams. Andrew's Lament I dreamed a dream of an endless sea, Arasaka at the helm. Today my dreams are nothing but mist, and I, I'm nothing but down. My eyes wished never to see again, covered in a sea foam veil of gray. I now see only the black abyss, my chrome heart gnarled in pain. Arasaka Corp bought my soul. In exchange for blood and mourn, the strength in me has forever died, and a corporate was born. That is very sad. And very long, wow. All right, where are you? Take this camera. Oops. There's another one over there. I don't know if I can see that from here. Where? Ah, there you are. Hello. How's it going? If I just set you on fire, is that cool? Oh, good. I kind of need that. Let's just do that now. I'm going to set you on fire. Is that cool? Have fun. Oh, I'll be your friend. Oh, you're going to find me now, huh? So that didn't work. <laughs> and I'm on fire. Great. All right. So my overheat isn't quite as good as I want it to be, but that's okay. Columbus, number 81938-930. Login attempts detected. Incorrect passwords, intrusion, system lockdown. Ah, oh, they couldn't figure out how to get into it. Take this data bank. Do you, uh, want this van? I guess you don't need the van. You only needed the information. Archive conversation. 
Hey, gotta cover a friend and do a run from a Lorien, then going out with the boys for a drink after the gear's delivered. Would you look at that? How nice of you to give me a heads up. For example, Gil can't see you tonight. Oh, Jill probably can't see you tonight. Jill, I'd rather hang out... Oh, Jill can't see you tonight. Jill, I'd rather hang out with the boys. I'm just fucking thrilled. I messaged you before, don't you remember? Sending you a still of our combo. File not found. Why do you treat me like this? Obviously your friends are more important. Honey, please. I can go see my friends too and not say anything. So what do you want me to do? It's fine. Go. I already have plans. Jesus fucking Christ. That's right. Keep swearing. Like your father. That's it. I'm out. Bye. Oh, sorry. What? Oh, there's that. Guessing I can't... Nope. Can't get in there. But wait. Who has a key card? Does someone have a key card? Did I just miss it? How does someone have a key card? And I just don't know where it is. Because I... Hi, coming in. Because I killed everyone and I didn't see any cards. Pick up. So, you get that iron yet? Why the fuck are you avoiding my calls? Boss, everything's peachy. We're trying to lay low and keep quiet. You'll get all the gear first thing tomorrow. Need someone to watch your back? Uh, I've seen this. Yep, yep, yep. Don't care. Great. Nice. That's just outside. I want the key card to get into that room to see if there's anything good in it. Where is the key card? One has a key card? That seems unlikely. I'll just leave. Bye, everyone. Wait, access point. Let's get that first. Oh, not the door. in the maelstrom. I read that. Your inheritance. Urgent reply needed. Dear sir or madam, my name is San Dawis and I work for Wet and Rekt Vardikide. Rekt Vardikide. I found your address in the client list for Zeta Tech's Dutch office. Your name happens to be identical to that of my former client, who died tragically in the recent floods ravaging the north of Europe. Please excuse the rather informal nature of this email, but the matter is truly urgent. My client has left behind 10.7 billion euro dollars in cash. In accordance with local law, the government will assume the entire sum if an heir is not found within a week. I also have it from unofficial sources, but the funds will be earmarked for the local branch of Euro Business Machines, which plans to take over Amsterdam. But we can stop them. I know you are not related to my client by blood, 
but by taking advantage of a few legal loopholes, we could inherit his fortune and split it three ways. 40% for you, 40% for me, and the remaining 20% for the flood victims, of course. Please respond to this message within three days, otherwise I will have to look elsewhere for help. So, Nigerian prince, huh? Oh, you got it twice. And I can't believe you never responded. Or did you? Did you respond? Guess I'll never know. Hmm, I don't think this one's super great. Get, I guess. All right. Cool, I'm out. All right, bye. Actually out this time. Sweet. Thanks for the shard. Sure it'll come in handy. Gig closed. You're welcome. Oh, street cred. Thought it was gonna be a level up. Got so excited. Okay. We're going to this ripper dock so that we can get that double jump that I have been dying for. Here's hoping it's worth it, because I don't know if it's worth it. How much of a double jump is it? Ah, we'll find out. That's fine. Ah, van! All good, why are you panicking? I'm not panicking. I'm the safest driver in Night City. No one can compare to my skills. I'm thinking about um, writing songs for a living. Becoming a musician. A lyricist. I think I've got the skills. I just get money for? For not running over the people in front of me? Hello, everyone. How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Oh, do I know him? Lately? Can't complain. MaxTac raided a black clinic not long past. Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. It's a powerful picture behind you. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. Okay. Legs. Double jump? Okay, but is a powered jump better, or is a double jump better? I'm gonna try a double jump. And then we'll see. Guess I could take the carrying capacity, huh? Why not? Fill out all my stuff. I'm gonna be so... I'm gonna be 90% cyber aware before I'm done. Um... Let's see. I have so many options. Um... That's kind of cool. Don't know if I'll use it though. Projectile launch system. I might take this one because this seems like it could help me. 
with the um, fist fighting stuff. So let's take that. Still got almost 50,000. So much I can get. What is this? Taking damage, there's a 2% chance of releasing a large electroshock. Deals damage to nearby enemies. That is kind of cool. I'll take it. Um, let's go circulatory system. Breach time for breach protocol increases health regen. When your health drops, release an electro shot that deals damage. 27 of the target enemies max health. Mm. Take that one. And integumentary system? I don't even know what that means. What is this? Oh, my shoulder. Oh, increases armor. That's simple, easy, effective. I like it. Uh, let's go with the frontal cortex. Oh, I have so many. I need more intelligence. Which is fine, because I will get that eventually. And I don't really care about any of those, so that's fine for now. Ooh, slows time when you are detected by enemies. I'll take it. Um, is any of this a better deck? I doubt it. Wait, this one is better. Higher base RAM. The one that I'm using reduces the RAM cost of ultimate quick hacks, which I don't think I have any of those yet, but I will eventually. I'm not sure. Also, this one has an additional hack that I do not have. All right, yeah, no, I'll keep the one I got. I guess that's probably good then, right? I think it is. Okay, bye. I just spent like half of my money here. Which is fine. What else am I using it for, if not cybernetic enhancements? Just saying. Alright. Do I like this double jump? Oh! It's like a whole extra jump. Alright. I'm into it. Yeah. This is nice. I like it. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. Alright. Let's go to this gig. Let's see what we're doing with that. Oh, I was right. I was very close. Can I say, is she not gonna call me? V, guy named Max Jones needs help. He might disagree, but if you don't get to this stubborn gonk first, he's as good as dead. Max is a media and a good friend of mine. Need you to bring him to me. If he puts up a fight, you're cleared to use force. Like I said, he's stubborn. Deets attached. Okay. I will bring him alive. I promise. Rescue Max, bring him to me. Night City doesn't like people that like to kick the hornet's nests, and Mac Jones, Max Jones, well, he kicked a bunch of them at the same time. Kicked him so hard, in fact, that someone put a hood out on him. Thing is, personally, I'd rather he stayed alive. Max Jones is an old friend from my muckraking days. We co-wrote a vidcast about independent farmers who were put out of biz by Biotechnica drones. Those were the days. Nowadays, Max doesn't even take my calls. He's as stubborn as they come, but now I'm worried he's really lost touch with reality. He probably thinks he can manage perfectly fine on his own, but that's what all young gonk men think, that they're invincible. Bring him to reason, will ya? Send him into cords to his hideout. If I manage to track him down, it's only a matter of time until the others do too. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess 31.1. Man, it sucks here. Alright, I'll be saving this man 
next time. If this wasn't the worst thing you've ever seen, like the video, subscribe to my channel, tell everyone you know how much you enjoy being in Night City with me, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!